Welcome to Alba. Come on in. Hello, NBC. I'm Linda Carbett. I'm 53 years old. I live in Lambertville, New Jersey, and I am an interior designer. And you are in Alba Home, my store. Welcome. The store is like a whole collection of antiques mixed with contemporary, mixed with eclectic, obviously. And I'm not afraid of anachronisms when it comes to interiors. As a matter of fact, I thrive on anachronisms. So the store reflects that, and it's light and white. And uh, people come in and either they get it or they don't get it. And most of the time, they really get it, which is why people hire me. They like my look, they like my style. You know, it, it's me. It's Alba is Linda. <laughs> this is my design studio. This is where it all happens. I've got rug samples, fabric samples, tile samples, wood samples. I have over 500 vendors that I work with. And there's this is a storyboard that I just completed for a client, and it tells the story of a bedroom. It gives her options for beds, lamps, tables, fabrics, basically the whole look of the room. Now, if this doesn't work and she doesn't get the picture, I do this. I go to Plan B, which is an actual rendering of the space. And if this doesn't work, then we have a problem, Houston. Here's another thing that I love to do. I love working new construction, additions. I've project managed a lot of jobs. Working with contractors, architects, plumbers, electricians, all the boys, all of the above. It's something I love to do. And this is a new drawing right here of an addition that we're just about to start. As soon as we figure out some little snafus and whatnot in the kitchen, we're going to break ground, blow out, and go for it. This is my 2011 project. It's actually my favorite project and probably reflects the best work I've done to date. So I redesigned it. I took the columns outside, emulated that architecture, drew up all the blueprints, and Jan, my Pocono boy, built this. You could land a helicopter on this baby. I redesigned these really neat cabinets. My client loves storage, so we gave her storage. So Linda took this um, rather tired 90s house, double story, living room, lots of dated features, and turned it into an amazing place that's fun to be, and I just love it. She ah, it's so true. She offered to adopt me. I think I'm going to take her up on it. The marriage <laughs> thing never worked out. Well, and we're not done yet. Is that mm -hmm. offer still open? It's still open. Right. Anytime you want. Anytime. Well, I thought I'd do a segment called, What's the Word on the Streets about Linda? Hey girls! Hi Linda! Brilliant! Whimsical! She's so genius, she can just come in there and make it happen. So I love her eye for color. Holly, I'm doing a segment called... <laughs> what am I calling it? No matter how busy she was, she was a major participant in any charity function, Anytime, anyhow, anywhere, always willing to step up to the plate. Fabulous. No, no, nothing less than fabulous. Wonderful energy, terribly talented, always stylish, and just a really, really good part. This is Lambertville, where you can die of quaintness overexposure. That's so damn quaint. You know, they always tell you never work with kids and ducks. I'm working with ducks. How would this benefit me? It would be huge. It would be large. I wouldn't have to, as far as the money goes, I wouldn't have to worry so much month to month about whether I'm going to make ends meet. Uh, I could just do what I do best, which is walking into people's homes and creating beautiful environments for them and making them happy. And that makes me really happy. As well as the fact that I could keep all my, you know, contractors and, and painter friends and everybody else, you know, because when I get a job, they all get a job. So it's kind of like, you know, share the wealth. And I would share the wealth. Unless it's a houseboat, and in which case we're all going to have to go live on the houseboat. You're not getting a houseboat, are you? Is that the grand prize? Just kidding.